Oh, so good. Who's that talented goddamn bass player? I don't know. He's probably very good looking. Literally, you cut out a little bit in your first sentence. Oh, my God. Well, I was just going on and on, just gushing about how talented You're that fine, bass player man. has to be. Oh, my God. Do you, do you listen to your own music very often? I do not. Every once in a while, like if I'm missing like my buddies and stuff like that, I, I can put it on. Um, but yeah, no, no, no. I don't watch. I don't rewatch any shows that I've done and stuff like that. I find that incredibly embarrassing. So there's no chance I'd ever do it. So I wouldn't do it with the uh, music or whatever. There's things that I'm proud of, like that song or whatever I'm proud of. Mm -hmm. There's a couple other songs that I'm really proud of that we've done. There's, I, but I'm such a small fucking boy. Like, I have no musical talent, and that's why I play bass. It's basically, okay. oh, you, you, you think that hear, people hear, hear what you people think are that doing. people that play bass that doesn't have any kind of talent? I'm sure there are some, but they are the outliers. Yeah, the outliers. Usually, so. the bass players are there just to look good, and I fulfill. Yeah my duties the, the yeah, bass me. players are the guys that try to be gu gu guitarists but they, they couldn't there's uh, yes well yes they they probably started off as guitarists and found out they're much better bass players so <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, i wouldn't uh, i wouldn't consider myself that i uh, i decided to play bass because my buddy had a drum set and played guitar and my other buddy had a drums knew how to play drums and had a guitar so it's like well if i want to hang out or whatever i should play bass or whatever i've ne I'd never really ever done it mm -hmm. and uh but it's like just listening to what these guys are doing seeing how they're playing and just picking it up it's really not that difficult it's more of a like it's more of a percussion instrument than you would think uh just because you have it, like bass follow is it's in the like it's in the term like yet it's just following the beat you follow a beat so the mm -hmm. the beat of the song follows the bass player so that's it you just have to keep time i'm what? not the best at it i can tell you that what do you think mm -hmm. back in the day that yeah. was a long time ago but back in the day mm -hmm. what instrument do you think that i played i'm gonna say well you are from where are you from you're from uh chile right yeah, I'm from Chile, Chile, you motherfucker. I'm from Brazil. <laughs> I'm going to say, just looking at you, I'm going to say you probably got the last pick. Well, last pick instruments on band day. And I'm going to say the triangle one first because someone thought it would be easy to play when they're right. No. I'm going to say, I'm going to say you are, I'm going to say trumpet. I'm going to say you got a trumpet. I didn't got a trumpet. And oh I got God. to choose. Do you know oh. which one I if, uh, try again? I'll give you one more last try. If you know, it'd be really cool if you had if you had like a xylophone. If you were a xylophone player, but I don't think that's it. There's very few bands nowadays that have a xylophone. Although that would be fucking awesome. I was never in a band, so that's like not even in the school the band. Like in the school band? No, no, well, we didn't have. Yes, we had school bands, but no, no, not in the school. Band. Uh, As a solo guy. Oh, solo. Oh, boy. Uh, ooh, that changes things. You, uh, okay. I'm going to say because you have those freaking super long, double long fingers, you are probably an accordion player. No. I played and I never liked. And then I like it, but like I was never like in that much engaged that much folks. I played harmonica. Oh, okay, yeah, harmonicas are fun, and they're pretty easy to pick up. And the good thing is, they usually come in a key. So yes. yeah, yeah. So uh, you just have to know what kind of key you want a, a song is in or whatever, and you can play a harmonica. So yeah, that's good. So yeah, did, there are two types of keys. There, yeah. there are key. There are the ones that you can change the key, and there are ones that each one is specifically for a key, so you can change the, the harmonicas between music. I, I played the, you, the second one. I have to ask you a question, and I need the God's honest fucking truth from you. What? Have you ever called it a mouth harp? No. Okay, good. All right. Thank God. Thank. 
Well, thank goodness. I thought you were saying you were gonna say it was a, you were gonna call it a mouth harp, and that you got all serious, and all of a sudden you're gonna start wearing those uh, those hats and stuff like that. No, nah, nah. harmonica. Blah, blah, nah. blah, 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 blah. You're okay. So you don't okay. So you don't play guitar. I think I, we I should we should cancel the show right in the third. Episode. I don't like that idea. This is gonna <laughs> listen. People, the people need to know. They need to know. So you don't play guitar. So you never had one of those setups or whatever, like for a harmonica or whatever that people put around their necks and stuff like that. No, so they can no, play no. Guitar I hold it. I hold it with my both hands here. So would you say you're a fan of blues music? Is that the kind of music you would play with a harmonica? Actually, I'm a fan of industrial rock. I don't know why I wanted to play a harmonica in the first place. So you're like skinny puppy and stuff like that? I like skinny puppy. I like ministry nails. Ooh, I'm more of a per, uh, I'm a more of perfect circle guy. Oh, okay, nails. Sure. Ramstein, like we talked oh, about. Those Germans, stole those Germans. And yeah. yes, I liked Marilyn Manson before. Oh he yeah, sure. Uh, Nine Inch Nails, probably the loudest concert I've ever been to. But I was right. I was pretty close to the stage. It was it was Nine Inch Nails, a band called Death from Above, 1979. And uh, oh, who are those guys? Why can I? Why am I blanking on the name? They're a popular band. Like the, they have a song called Little Sister, and they have a song called uh, uh, it's like Dave Grohl would play with them. Everyone, anyways, there was but another band. Like I think were... as I got older, I began like like more the dark synths kind of stuff, EBM. Okay. I never really got into that. The <laughs> kids, the kids liked some of that stuff, but uh, yeah, I, like I just thought news, I, I thought news. it sounded like video game music to me for the most mm, part. No, is that why you liked it? That's probably why you liked it. There are some video video game music is actually very good. You ever listen to the Doom soundtrack? Uh, I was wondering. I was wondering how many soundtrack. episodes we would go until Doom was mentioned. I have. I don't know if I've ever listened to it. I've. I've played through. Bits you have listened to it. I've heard it. I've, I'm sure I've heard you it. You have listened to it. The mm -hmm. Saw intro is a Doom music. Oh, the Saw intro. The Saw intro, like the Saw show. Intro. Oh, the Saw show. Oh, I, I thought you were saying Saw. Like, like, I've only seen the Saw movie music. once. Oh, that sounds pretty good. Yeah, I actually like that. Now, but don't, you were, don't... were you a big Ministry fan then, too? Because, uh, yeah. I, I never listened like to Ministry, ministry actually. Oh, I, I like it. I, ha I have to. Uh, for, because I know one that last one of fix. the... One Last one, Fix is a fucking fantastic song. I know that one of the guys that play in a perfect circle is from Ministry, right? Uh, maybe I know that uh, I know that the guy was the uh, uh, I think the guitar tech for Tool, and uh, that's uh, like the the singer or whatever, and that's how he got Maynard Maynard, Maynard to sing uh, yeah. on it or whatever because they were buddies. Yeah, because Maynard is the singer for like I love Maynard. Like, yeah, I like the way that he's not on the center of a perfect circle uh, show concert. Right. Well, even you see him like I in the background. I always thought that Tool, he's kind Tool, of. I guess he he has. I don't know if it's a bit of stage fright or what, but he's well back. Like I guess even when Tool plays, he's well back from the audience. Yes. Like he's almost close to where the drum riser is for the most part. Um, one of the bands I would love to see live is Tool. I would love to see them. I, I still have like I've seen so many bands live. I've seen all kinds. I don't have like like the options you guys would in Brazil and stuff like that. Like, yeah, you know, here it's rock and Rio way, and stuff like way difficult to get those bands here. Like I, I, I had the chance to uh, watch, not not watch, like to be there for Ramstein two times, one time in two thousand and ten or eleven, ten, right. And then another time in 2016. And Ancient Aos, I that was the same. In 2016, I also saw Mary Mason live. I also had the chance to watch on Lollapalooza 
Nine Inch Nails in 2014. And... I, was at the, I was at the first two Lollapaloozas. Wow. Which was very cool. Uh, I didn't... And I watched it live not one time. So. Uh, yeah, I was in... A, a long, long, long time ago. Uh, a long time ago in internet years, anyways. I was on a show that was about um, uh, music trivia. It was done by uh, uh, guys that... Uh, I can't remember what the name of their channel is, but people like uh, uh, Chance was on that show and Paul Ayama was on that, like doing really? trivia for it. Uh, I'd never played any of those guys, but uh, I remember them. There was one, like, you'd have to come up like, what band or whatever do you want to, do you want to know, like, say, you know a lot about in, in trivia. So I would say Pink Floyd because that's the easiest one for me. Uh, you like and, your Pink Floyd guy? Oh, I love Pink Floyd. I fucking love it. Uh, I that Robert Robert Adams. I played him in a trivia thing and beat the shit out of him in in a Pink Floyd trivia thing. But there was this kid from Mexico, and we must have went ten questions deep in overtime or whatever, and he finally beat me on a stupid final cut question. Drove me nuts. Really? Why did? Why did? Was this movie? Why I can find this movie trivia? It's music. Mo music it's, trivia. Because you're looking. Because you're looking up movie trivia, Danny. It's music. Music it's called, trivia. It's called yeah. juke jukebox trivia, something like that. I don't know. If you look it up under my actual name, or I think you can find it, but I'm not sure. It's not like I fucking watch this thing again. Rob Clark. Yeah. Little little Rob Clark. Uh, Rob Clark, former member of House of Commons of Canada. Oh, that's yeah. I was a member of the House of fucking Commons. That's not Me. the Rob Clark that I'm looking for. No, there's a few. I've I actually know like personally another Rob Clark. Uh, Rob Clark Snark. Rob the Snark. Robert Clark Likadu. No, that's not you. Mm -mm. Rob Clark uh, San Francisco. No. Uh, nope. I've uh, never even been is there. Narky doesn't sell. Mm. The hell is that? Oh, ah, that's Brian Clark. That isn't even what? Are you just looking up Rob anybody with Clark, the Clark? Ten. Ooh. Husband, father, a captain of Team Clark. Senior oh, deputy AD for SJSU Athletics. I am probably captain of Team Clark to tell you the truth. Flight does Nark. Flight. Uh, this no. snark is a show. The snark is a show? Fuck it. I need to fucking get some money from these people. They owe me royalties. Your shows. I know. The show, show is called The Flight and the episode's called The Snark. Your, your former show owes me royalties because Amber used the term snarky to describe someone twice in it. Twice. Yeah, we have to talk about I need to get paid for that i'm thinking and the only one i need and we need to talk with Amber about that we we cannot use snarky as anymore oh my god i'm still trying to find you rob clark music tree i'll send it to you after i'm sure i have it somewhere i'm sure i do i've never seen it why I'm it's sure. hard to find you i don't think they I have it on it. anymore like uh like it was done by this there was a good kid from prince edward island and he was running it there was guys like uh matthew rosa i think uh, uh sandy robinson uh who else oh geez why uh, so tim, far maybe yeah. tim sim maybe tim sim was in it why is it so hard to find you on the internet that's for legal reasons uh legally yeah, I've never we went to prison. They try and scrub everything of me out. You've it's ever not, went to prison? I have never been to prison. I've never been arrested. Okay, been... I, we need to talk about this. So I, I, All right. I, I search for you on Google. Mm -hmm. And the first thing that pops up is a photo of Taco. Of what? Of Taco. Of Taco? Yep. Our buddy Taco. Yep. 
Well, that's nice. Literally, this is the first thing that appears. <laughs> and a boy. Thanks, you. And there's Thanks. well, there's Buffy the Vampire Slayer picture. I'm Buff, pretty happy with that. A lot of Buffy. I like it. Chronic. What the hell is that? Oh, I've, I'm on that one. I'm Mark with a uh, movie blog. Oh, I'm on a show with him tonight. It's Narky Puppy. I think it's yeah, a Yeah, that's band. not me. That's not me. My band's probably... Oh, we are pure, too. Oh, boy. I'm not on that either, though. Yeah, but that's when the show, or when this show was announced. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's right. Maybe the best uh, announcement you ever made, and you didn't even make it. That is true. Thanks for the Brazilian internet. <laughs> my favorite part, my favorite part, was when that came on and uh, the intro comes in or whatever. It was that fucking picture of me or whatever goes up to the screen. Just the look on Amber's face afterwards was fucking priceless. She looked horrified slash disgusted. Yeah. And then not, she uses not, my name Not so much it. on Friday with that guy from the FCL, Nick Harley. That's not on the FCL anymore. Yeah. That guy has a Did lot. Did you watch okay. the FCL? Uh, I paid attention to some. You know, we have we have friends that were covering it. So, you know, if they're doing a show, I would try and pay attention to it. Not all to of the it. To show? It's to their shows or to... Mostly to their shows. Mostly to their shows. Like, there is a, a lot of uh, Schmodown content coming out at that time. Mm-hmm. So, it's like, I, I like... Uh, let's put it in perspective. The Winnipeg Jets uh, are my favorite hockey team, of course. And they're from Winnipeg. Their minor league team also plays here in Winnipeg. Mm-hmm. It's not like I go see the minor leagues teams. I only go see the pro teams. So I, I just figure it's the same thing with uh, with uh, uh, with that shit. It's like just couldn't care less about the minor leagues. So I could care, but like you when the FCL as a minor league. It is a minor league. It was a minor league. All they were doing is farming talent for the Schmodown, which is great. And I think it's and I think they should do I'm can't wait for it to come back. And I'm hoping that guys like like Maxwell get a chance to come up. And it was like I fucking you know I'm a fan of Andres and stuff like that. So I hope that he gets a chance to come back. And it's good that they have a spot where, you know, people can keep them in mind and stuff like that. They should be going on to this thing. Uh, and then there's Nick Harley, who I'd never seen. He wins a championship, right? Yeah. I guess he beat Max or whatever for the championship. But looking at this guy, and this guy's uh, this guy's talking a lot of shit, which is fine. But honestly, with his sunglasses inside and that couch... He's like a skinny tie away from being in the, like the saxophone player for Huey Lewis in the news. Like I like I feel in yeah the there's news. yeah there is nothing to that guy. It's like oh all right oh you got got a good partner. So, so you still have to, you guys like I said before you can fucking have all the knowledge in the world. You still have to be entertaining. You have to be entertaining. Like, you don't think up? that Nick Carr is entertaining? I think you need more. Like I think it's so easy for him to go in and be uh, Ethan or sorry, Mister Irwin's partner, but you need to be more. You need to be more than just a, oh, I've got an attitude and I wear sunglasses inside now. Ridiculous. You know who wears sunglasses inside? What? 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 What do you think of people that wear sunglasses inside? They're untrustworthy. They're not trustworthy. <laughs> Really? Oh my God! You're doing it. How dare you? Well, Brazil's different. You guys are on the other side of the world. As soon as you guys hit that equator and stuff like that, rules change. Oh really? How how they they do change? First of all, everyone thinks it's acceptable to smoke. Secondly, it is acceptable to smoke. Oh boy! How dare you? Secondly, you guys can wear sunglasses inside, but. At least this is a different color. Like, this is just like the black on black. Like, the, like 100%. Mine has at least the red, right? 
Yeah, it match yours matches your microphone. So I think that works. In a weird way. I like red and black. I think it's a good combination of colors. Sure. Oh my god, look at you. You got the whole thing worked yeah. out. Yep. That's it's a gift from Star. Oh leg, and and who's the Lego piece that if you join together? Oh, she has the other piece? The other piece it becomes a heart. Oh brother, that is uh fucking adorable. I can't stand it. Uh, I cannot stand it. So uh Star so I have one of... piece, he has the Star's other piece. Star's a friend of yours then? Together. Is that what I'm hearing? Yeah, it's Star's a friend of mine. Oh, that's, that's nice. Friend. It's nice that you have a friend. Yeah. It's I'm nice to have friends. Friend. Speaking of friends. No, she's my girlfriend, you idiot. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Wow. That's the G is... world. The that G world. Is... Ooh. That's a commitment thing. That is a commitment thing. You have mm -hmm. to commit. Well, we, we are, does she we're... does she know what she got herself into? Does she have? Yeah, idea? she went to Brazil. She knows exactly <laughs> what she got into. If you know what I mean. It, oh my goodness gracious! Also, is she and she's fine with this uh, little growth you got going here. She's fine. She, she's fine she doesn't something. mind, but this is me being lazy. Lazy. Yeah. I get no. it. Yeah, you saw me. I, I usually shave. I shave. Yeah. I shave more than the other people in LGR, Like Justin and Harry, they don't shave at all. I think uh, Justin has been shaving uh, the wrong part of his head lately. He's been going up top. Wow! Like top. You're going to make fun of Justin being bald. I'm not making fun of Justin. I am saying that uh, I think uh, as far as shaving his face, he's missing. Mm -hmm. Should we? <laughs> Be going you could see a lower. little bit. You could see he he just normally uses a hat or something. Yes. You could see, but in the latest LGR trailer reactions, he didn't use. No, he's he's fucking owning shit. That's what I'm saying. Maybe he's you know cleaning cleaning up a little bit. You know, you could clean up. The Are you afraid of going bald? Smart. Me? I yeah. will never be bald. I've uh, no one in my family has ever been bald. I am. I was cursed with going gray at a very early age, mm -hmm. but I will never be bald. I started like I, my first gray hairs. I I noticed when I was seventeen years old. So yeah. Damn. Which was only eight years ago. Because I'm twenty five now. Okay. Just of course. just turned twenty five, guys. Cheers. Cheers. I, my father, my grandfather, they'll never bald, so I'm not worried about Yeah, that. I'm not worried my about My uncle, that. my uncle is, but my uncle had, like, a weird-ass disease when he was, like, very young and something, so maybe that was a side effect out of that. Nobody in my mom's family went bald, so I I've have got, no worries about that either. I've got three stepkids. Uh, two boys and a girl, and their father uh, was is bald, and so were they, and very, very prematurely bald. Like uh, the youngest one is is quite bald already. Uh, really? The older, the older, the oldest one, pretty bald, not as bald as his little brother, but also like his uh, his grandfather on his mother's side, like my my uh, my father in law was. Uh, uh, was bald as well, so the, these guys never had a chance. Never had a chance. How it is to deal with the younger people? It's not. Like... Oh, they don't talk to me, so it's just fine. So... They don't talk to you. <laughs> they t well, no, they did. Like the youngest one still is still here at the house and stuff like that. And uh, well, and, you know, I get along with them all and stuff like that. But yes, it's you know. Uh, uh, so you're not the how, hated how, how, stepdad. How, I, I I hope not. I seem I think I do quite a bit for these fucking freeloaders. Wow. Uh, <laughs> no, I no, I think we have a pretty good. You know, uh, and you know, I'm not a uh, uh, huggy emotional person and stuff like that. But You're neither not. are they. No, no, no. Uh, so, but there's a. I think there's a. Uh, respect between all of us and stuff like that. Like we all get along. 
like mm-hmm. I enjoy when they're around and stuff like that. So you don't, so you don't have emotions. That's what you're telling. I'm not a hugely emotional guy. You don't yeah. get emotional. There's, there's, there's. I get emotional a little about some things, like uh, if we're talking about like my brother and stuff like okay. that. Yes, I'll get emotional. Mm-hmm. Um, but like, uh, I'm not, I'm not like a huggy guy. Like if someone uh, like hugs me and I don't really know them all that well, I get really creeped out, like really creeped out. Really, you know. And, and I and sorry. I and I work and I work in a in a place that serves liquor, so people get uh, huggy, huggy. People so get a lot of hugs. I have to I have to take a lot of deep breaths and just kind of grin and bear it, but. Uh, I uh, yeah, I'm not a I'm not a huge fan of being overly emotional. I uh, I have a very emotional mother who, well, you know, she's French and French Catholic. On top of that, so they're all very emotional people. Mm-hmm. Uh, I just uh, took up more after uh, my father's side of the family and stuff like that, the Protestant side with the stiff upper lip and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, but when you know, when when I get sad, I get very sad. Um, when I get happy, I get very happy. Uh, but there really is no middle ground for me. I'm, I'm pretty, you know, I, you know, you're chill. I, I don't, I don't, yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't hate people. I, I, I expect the best out of people. Uh, I just don't. Uh, I just. You're Canadian, you know, so you to... you do expect a lot of people. You do expect a lot from people. You you expect like the best from people. Like you, your guys are very I, hopeful, I wish, positive people. Yes, I wish for the best from people. I don't expect it. Mm-hmm. I'm okay. uh, I'm just I've just turned 27 years old, okay. so I very have. Uh, to me. I have, uh, I'm way younger than Danny is. So I, uh, yeah, I've come to a position in life or whatever. And it's like, I know it's not going to happen, but when it does happen and people do do the best, I am genuinely uh, happy about things like that. I just don't mm-hmm. get as upset anymore about when people fuck up because mm-hmm. it's, it's going to happen. People are just going to be people. What are you going to do? Yeah, that's that actually words of wisdom coming from the the Yeti. That's what I'm about. This is what I'm about, guys. I'm about fucking wisdom. Like, come on. You don't get gray hairs like this from being some fucking dumbass idiot bass player. <laughs> but, but I thought that you are more of a people's guy because of your work. Like you work with bars and I'm friendly. Do you have that. like a hostel or something? I don't know what the fuck is that. What about? Do you have a hostel or hotel? I, I don't know. A what hotel. Oh, it's yeah. It's a it's a hotel. Uh, it's a motel. It, it, Come on. Tell no, 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 no. It is not a motel. You know what the difference is between a hotel and a motel? The one that people fucked. Oh my goodness gracious! No, a motel. Uh, you can drive up to your room. That's what a motel is. So if you see like a there's a a hotel on the highway and stuff like that. And they have uh, rooms at uh, the street level and stuff like that. And there's a parking spot. That's a motel. Hotels, mm-hmm. you park and you have to go up to your room, which is what we do. Is but that the only we, difference between the two? That's, what, that, that's, only, that's the only thing that means hotel, which means hotel, and motel, which is short for motor hotel. I I really thought their difference is the one that people goes to fuck. They both are like, but but we don't like our hotel is uh, all long term rentals. Our like what we like uh, we have people that rent our rooms that are businesses, and when uh, people come to town to do jobs, say on the railways or whatever it is, they're put up in our rooms or whatever and paid for by. Uh, the by company. businesses so mm-hmm. they have a spot to stay when they're here uh so it's like then, an yeah. airbnb of sorts no no because it, well for instance we have a guy who's lived at the hotel now for almost 60 years he lives there for 60 years yeah 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 so he's yeah big... he, he he moved in in 68 i think and he's still there 
So it basically, that's his home. Yeah, there's it's a home to a lot of like we have guys that have like easily have been there for ten years. There's a few rooms that. So you own an apartment up. complex. Sort, of, sort of. Yeah. You're a landlord. Oh yeah, no, definitely a landlord. Okay, but you, well, you, I'm you, not. You, I'm not. You know. Say so you have a few. My mother. We are back at feudalism. No, because I'm not expecting them to work the land in order okay. for their room and board. Okay. They are thieves. <laughs> you provide like food services and stuff. No, no, like no, and... no. Like, well, we have a re we have a we have a restaurant in the hotel, but uh, they're expected to pay for their food. Like, okay. we don't we don't uh, we don't give them their food. You don't, like, oh, no, you no, don't no, no, provide like breakfast stuff. stuff like no, that. no, 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 no. So you want to you don't own a hotel. You want an apartment complex. It's. Uh, no, it's you know it's very different, and there's reasons why it's very different and stuff like that. Like as far as uh, oh my god, uh, evic that evicting drug? people, evicting people and stuff like that. It, yeah, no, no, it, it's complicated to get into. But it, we aren't an apartment building. You don't bring your own stuff, and we provide the stuff. So it's not an apartment building. Like they don't bring in their own. But they pay rent. Of course, it's a, still a hotel. I think you, I think you are actually a drug dealer, and this is like the, how fucking, people. how dare you? Uh, how uh, unbelievably you, you, you dare you? You said to people that that ideal is a moonshiner. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. Probably true. <laughs> she smuggles diamonds from Africa or something. Yeah, she is. Yeah, that's not cool. Uh, Delia, please stop. If you're watching this, for God's sakes, they're blood diamonds. You should know better. better. So you want a, a complex where people make drugs and sell? No. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I am a fucking hard-nosed motherfucker. No, no, no. That won't happen. Okay. That will never happen. No. Okay. Like, in the next like, episode, I'm trying to go deep dive. Where the fuck this, like this is the business that you want? Because it doesn't make any fucking sense. I don't own it. Uh, it's a hotel it, that is not a, that people live on it. Right. Yes. So it's not a hotel because a hotel isn't supposed to be temporary. You would think, but legally, no. Yeah, legally, I think people can stay in a hotel as long as they like, right? As long as they pay for it. Yeah. Uh, and our rooms are rented by the month. But, uh, you know, if people do not uh, follow through with their uh, uh, rent payments, I can evict them immediately. Unlike in an apartment building, say, where you've signed a lease and it gets much tougher. It's wow. different. And plus, like this, like the place I, I work at was built in 1913, 1912, 1912. So, it was also built as a place where they were building railroads. They were building all kinds mm -hmm. of stuff. So that's what this was for. Back then, they didn't give a shit about fucking plumbing. So of all, I have 43 rooms, 44 rooms at the hotel. And there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine rooms with, with a bathroom in it. Nine. And most so... of those, most of those, being actual water closets, Danny. So if you ever look at a, a blueprint and you see uh, on the blueprint WC, uh, like that's the bathroom. Uh, mm -hmm. But it's literally because WC meant water closet, which is basically uh, you open up a closet door and there's a toilet in it. <laughs> so there are people that live there, but they have to go outside of their apartment yeah, there, there's 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 com there's common shit. yeah there's common bathrooms like you'd see in any kind of place or common bathrooms showers those kind of things we have a kitchen at stuff like that upstairs but there are some rooms that have in bathrooms inside of it some very so. few but yes some if we would want to change all the stuff 
it would cost us a million, two million bucks. So and of course done. you have that be done. <laughs> Yeah, fuck me. Yeah, no. No, I'm almost paid minimum wage now. Almost. Almost. But a minimum wage in Canada is very different from minimum wage in Brazil. Probably. It's probably way less. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's more. And you can afford more with minimum wage in Canada. It's not like... Yeah. Yeah. Things change, but yes. I would imagine so. It's. I would imagine it's better. Because uh, you have to put up with the... Like, it's snowing again today. It is April 24th. And there was snow. It was a zero degree day here in Winnipeg with snow. Uh, you I like have snow. Yet... I don't. I do not like snow. I appreciate snow when it's time for snow. Like if like it's in the winter. like December, January, February, sure. By March, it should be getting better. Like mm -hmm. this is why when people fucking uh, go off about uh, oh ho, ho, global warming. <laughs> oh my Ooh, god, yeah, global like, warming denier. Those fucking cunts. The 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 guy that came up with that term should be drawn and quartered. I swear to God, and I'll buy the fucking horses. I don't give a fuck. What happens is climate change, and it affects fucking everybody, and especially in a place like this, that is a fucking desert climate to begin with. But when we're fucking cold now, we've been cold for since October. Like this is a long fucking time. This is too fucking much. It gets it gets to you after a while. Like people have those uh, climate related uh, uh, psychoses and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. It's like I get it, but I've hold I've held it together so far. You, you know, you know what's funny? No, this no. conversation reminds me of the test that I took earlier today. Mm -hmm. Because for people that doesn't know, I made a fucking out, which stands for International English Learning Skill Test, I don't mm -hmm. know, something like that. International, well, what else stands for? That, that's a good, good stuff to search on Google. Yells. Okay, English yeah. language training or something? Testing something? International something like English that. language testing system. Okay, sure. International English language testing system. Or yeah. Yelts, you'll, for you'll, you'll be fine. And uh, yeah, it was a little bit tougher than I thought. I, I yeah, I studied a little bit. Like, remember, my mom is an English teacher, so she helped me. Yeah, study and stuff. that's what I'm saying. You're gonna be fine. But, you, you speak English a lot better than uh, some of our southern friends there. Yeah, but the reading and the listening part, there was like some like little traps that I think I fell into. But it's okay. Anyway, we'll the, the test is divided cool into listening. So you listen to a stuff and then you have to answer the stuff answer the stuff then there's the reading part where you read the test and have to answer the not questions sometimes you have to fill in spaces and stuff like that then there is the writing one that you have to write two essays one i had to pretend that i had a problem with a friend of mine at work so i, I wrote a letter to mr rogers mr rogers is the oh, that fake bastard that fucking bastard. And the, the the new hire, Dave, was terrible to work with. That was an amazing story that I made. And there is the the speaking one. The speaking one was the last part of the test that you had. I had to talk with a person in a call, just like this one, a video mm -hmm. call. And she asked me if the if I think if the weather changes how people are happy or not. Oh, and this is a question that I also ask for you. Is not? Do you think that one hundred percent? It has a term, seasonal affective disorder. I believe it. SAD, seasonal affective disorder, and mm -hmm. like especially in in a, in a place like Winnipeg, where it can be so cold for so long. It's like I get it. I get it. I've never really had it. I've, I like I you know, I don't have much to get depressed about. I'm fine, uh, but I get it. I get it's. It is fucking nuts. Like I, I would love to wear a pair of shorts and he head out for the day and just chill out outside. I'd love to go play a round of golf. Like I'm dying to go play around a round of fucking golf. But it 
has literally either snowed or blizzarded or there's been something a rain like there was overland flooding in winnipeg for the last few days or whatever just because of the weather this has been a fucking okay i, I was going to say way worse way worse swear words than i think i probably should but it has not been great it has been uncool Elizabeth. wow you're so canadian you know you can curse on this fucking show how dare you how dare you you're you're so canadian why because if there is something I, that everybody I, in the whole fucking world knows and unless they watch taylor park boys is okay. that canadians are very polite uh, I was gonna By say, the way, people I, should watch Trailer Park Boys. If you guys don't watch Trailer Park Boys, shame on you. Mm. Fucking shame on you. There are the only two people of this community that I know that watch Trailer Park Boys. Me and Justin and you. Yeah. So good. Three people. Yeah, so good. I said two. So good. Yeah. Well, it's Brazilian math. Brazilian math. You'll get Brazilian it. Brazilian math. You'll you can it. see Alan Elliott, Paige. Oh yeah, that's right. Like, what she was like, what seven, nine? Like she was, he was very young. Yeah. Like yeah, it was. It's a very interesting show to watch. Like there, there really, there, there are trailer parks in Canada that much. Uh, if you want to get right into it, Danny, like uh, uh, one of my best friends and his wife lived in Churl, Nova Scotia, just outside of where they film. Uh, trailer Park Boys. So uh, they're, they've had interactions. Like uh, Randy um, has hit on my buddy Stu's wife I don't know how many times. Really? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Randy, yeah. of all people. Randy, cheeseburger, cheeseburger Randy. Cheeseburger so, Randy. Yeah, yeah. so uh, 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 yes, it's very it's very Canadian in, in even in the way that uh, there's always somebody that knows somebody to do with that show. Like there's a there's a very close six degrees of separation of Trailer Park Boys uh, in Canada, which is great though because fucking the show is the show is fantastic. Uh, in the show in the original area into a porn channel, right? Because I can what? see even on Netflix. It was a porn channel, like the first season or something. No, because you can see like an adult film, like intro before the show, like in the first season. At Jeez. least on Netflix. No, no, no. There, I'm pretty sure it was on something called Showcase, which was run by Global, uh, and Global actually based originally out of Winnipeg. But yeah, no, no, no. There was no porn channel or whatever or anything like that it seems that. like ironic channel like from the interest of oh they may have uh they may have had uh, or at least had more the risque things hour. on it risque but it was like a like a full-on just a just a regular network it's not like you have to pay to get it it was just so like canada under. doesn't have slums the canada have trailer parks of course oh yeah there's tons of trailer parks like i know people that live in trailer parks <laughs> Is different than this, but uh, yeah, oh, for sure. My my uh, brother. It doesn't seem like a cozy life. A trailer park. It, it uh, you know, you make friends. It's the same kind of thing. I don't think there's anything like uh, uh, Randy and stuff like that in most trailer parks. I don't think anybody, you know, polices the trailer park all like that. But I don't know. I've I have never lived in one, so I don't have that day to day operations of a. Have you ever met park. somebody from Taylor Park Boys? Have I? No, 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 no. no just uh, just Stu and Lou, Stu and Lou know uh, uh, the Trailer Park Boys. All right. Because Jesus Christ, I I love that show. Like, the, yeah, the it's whole... great. Julian and uh, Ricky. And Ricky, bubbles, and fucking bubbles, man, <laughs> fucking bubbles. Kitty, what's a kitty? No. Kitty, kitty. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Snark, I think that's a good, good advice. Good a good yeah, way to end the show with an advice. Tra watch Trailer Park Boys, guys. One other thing. One other quick thing. 
we have a friend, you and I both mm -hmm. have a friend coming to the LGR network next week for the, I, I believe it's for the after show for the free for all. Yeah, I think she's going to be on it. Yeah, I am not that much updated with correct knowing for like because of the tests and everything, but I think she's going to be there. Yeah. Yes. Well, yes, she's going to be doing it with uh, Corey and Dagan, and it's our friend uh, Kiwi Jess. Turns out, not named after the Chinese gooseberry kiwi. Uh, I guess kiwis are named after the bird kiwi. Uh, the bird kiwi, not the fruit. No, yeah, it's not even called a ki like it's called a kiwi fruit here, but I guess the actual name of it is Chinese gooseberry, really? which sounds ridiculous. But sounds ridiculous, yes. Yes, but because it's not uh, Chinese, it's New Zealand. Zealander, yeah. I don't know. She's a New Zealander. So, yeah, and definitely not Australian. So, also, I guess New Zealand is the home of uh, orcs and trolls and shit like that. That's another yeah, thing. That's what uh, everyone thinks, right? Like the trolls I'm pretty, I'm and the sure orcs. I'm sure of it. That's why I will. The dwarves. There's dragons living in New Zealand right now, and I will not be a party to it. And I can tell you does, that. Does, does the dragons pay taxes in New Zealand? I don't think they have to. I think they should because they're sitting on mountains and mountains of gold. Yes. Which is, you know, which is cool for them. They can keep their money wherever they want. They don't trust banks. That's so fine. You A know, lot of people don't they're trust not, they're not. They're not. They're not helping out their economy. I can tell you that. Yeah, they're not. Anyway, she's Anyways. coming to the free for all. Yes. And she made an interview with you on her channel, right? Oh, gosh. Oh, did she? Listen, if she's going to interview anybody for her first ever interview show, she might as well get the Enigma. The Enigma. That is Rob Clark, the snark. The, you know, it's going to be downhill from here. Like, what are you going to do? What, what's she going to do after this? She better find the Frankenstein or something like that, like a real life Frankenstein. Because... I'm very disappointed if she chose to interview you before me. Disappointed? I told her that. Oh my god! I told, I told Jessica that. You already had it. You got interviewed by Ferris on uh, LG. If, you uh, it's... if you're if you're watching this, you're on LGR's Patreon right now. You can go and listen to Danny's interview with Ferris uh, right after this. No, yeah. He also he interviewed basically everybody. Did he interview Justin? I don't think so. But what are you going to do? He still has to interview Justin, but maybe somebody else was going to be before Justin. Oh, Stay my tuned. God. Oh, brother. Like, and it's not snark. It ain't me. I, I did the one interview. That's how special Jess is. She gets the one interview from me. That's oh, my it. God. But good I'm luck excited to, to see I'm, that. I'm, I'm excited for her. She's a, she's a good dude. So, yeah. And, of course, she'll be way better than Corey and Dagan combined. Wow. Shots just say, I'm just throwing, I'm just throwing it out there. I'm just throwing it out there. I You're the Dagan's first one that says Corey and Dagan, not Dagan and Corey. Oh, well, maybe I'm better than people. Yeah, I'm always just to say dig it and Corey, not Corey. Oh my and god. Dagan. How dare you? Yeah, it's like Danny and Snark. Snark is the sidekick. <sighs> they don't say I can, Snark. I can, and I can Danny. live with that. I can live with that. Live they don't say it. Snark and Danny. They say Danny and Snark. That's, that's fine. I think it rolls. It's easier. I got that I got that a hard K at the end. Yeah, you know, it just it just it just means full stop, full stop. It's like Justin and Ferris. You know why I say Ferris and Justin? I think you said Ferris and Justin a bunch of times. <laughs> I say Ferris and Justin a bunch of times. Yeah, yeah, and that's true. Just because Justin doesn't listen to this show, so he's not he like, oh, not. how dare you no. call yeah. me the sidekick? Yes, he was even. He wasn't even on his own show yesterday. You got the 26 ounce. He's play. sick. <laughs> Let that give the man a break. Just I talked to him. 
Payton's always just unfair as in Danny. I'm always the turd one. So I, I know the turd. Like, so. You're the turd. I'm, I'm one. the turd wheel. You're the turd one for sure. All right, Snark. 50 minutes. We hope to do 20 again. We didn't do it 20. We're nailing this time thing. We got it down. We got it very down. Yes. We All know right. What we're doing. So. When when your interview drops, do you know it? Should be this week. Uh, look for Kiwi Jess's Twitter feed, and she'll be sending out uh, uh, a little. Uh, you know, she'll be promoting it. It mm-hmm. you know it come like the promo. I believe has to deal with how I actually got my name Snark, uh, which is a true story. So I haven't seen it yet, and as we discussed, I just thought you were a very uh, snarky like person. Bit. How dare you! Like, I, and also, mm-hmm. also, I didn't that know that term, was an origin that term story. Really, that, that term really didn't come out till much after people called me snark. Like, I never heard that word before. It's not. I think I might even talk. Yeah, I never heard that. Like, in like this is nineteen ninety one. 1990 or 1991 is a long time ago. I By the way, guys, I'm also born. 20. I'm only 25 years old. I wasn't even born in 1991. How fucking dare you? I wasn't even born in 1991. I was born in 1993, September 4th, 1993. So I could say that I had graduated high school before you were even born, but I. I don't want to, uh, just to kind of. Uh, oh, I graduated live, live high up, live, school. Live up to what I was saying before Eleven me only being ago. twenty-six years old. Wow! 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 We, we, and on that note, the snark is very old. <laughs> Fucking motherfucker! You have no idea. Yep. And we see each other next week. I hope. Please give me good vibes. I hope I wait good on the, this test. You got it. You're like, fuck it. Don't even worry about it. Okay, okay. Snark, I'll see yes. you next week. Then. Sounds good. See you and guys. With that, your best music ever. Oh.